Hello and welcome. We're about to do some yoga, so unroll your mat, grab props if you'd like to use them. I'll give you a few seconds to get those things and I'll see you right back here. Hi again, we're starting today on hands and knees in child's pose. So separate the knees, bring your toes together, relax the hips back to the heels. You can reach the arms straight forward, maybe turn the palms up, or you can relax the arms back behind you on the mat. Just let your forehead settle down. Relax into your space. Feel the shoulders melt away from the ears. And as you settle into your space, start bringing awareness to the breath. Just letting the breath move nice and easy in and out through the nose. Maybe firing up a gentle ujjayi breath for this time of year when the weather is cooler outside. It's just a, an easy way to heat things up from the inside out. Right, the ujjayi breathing is that gentle snoring sound at the back of the throat. Let's hold it here for about three more deep breaths. Let's come up onto hands and knees. Bring the knees in just a little bit. Now sink the hips forward as you lower all the way down onto your belly. Sphinx pose, slide the hands forward. Hug the elbows in a little bit, chest up, head up. Make sure that your elbows are bending at a 90 degree angle. Right, so your elbows should be far enough out so that if you're just where you need to be, looking past the end of the nose, the back bend happens all on its own. So I encourage you here in your Sphinx Pose to slightly scoop the tailbone just so that we're lengthening a little bit here. And you can continue to hold here or if you like, if you'd like to add the quad stretch, optional of course, Bend the right knee, reach your right hand back, draw the heel to the hip. Keep the tailbone scooping down. Then releasing out, and if you did the first side, try the second side. Bend the left knee, hand to foot, and of course, please like avoid doing this if you know that this doesn't feel right for you, modifying your practice today as it makes sense. And releasing out your left foot. Keep your hands right where they are for your sphinx. Come into seal pose. So lift your elbows. Keep the tailbone lengthening, chest up. Gaze past the nose. And we'll hold it here for another full breath. Then returning your elbows to the mat for Sphinx. Slide the hands in toward the chest. Come onto hands and knees. Let's press back to downward facing dog, hips up and back. 
and of course feel free in your first down dog of the day to walk out your feet, stretch out the legs. Just waking everything up, staying connected to the breath. And we'll hold for one more breath. Lifting up the right leg, put a bend in the knee, open the hip, relax the head down. Then level out the hips, come into pigeon pose briefly, right knee through, left leg back, sit tall. We'll hold it here for just a breath, opening up through the hips. Return to downward facing dog, step back. We'll go the other way, lifting up the left leg. Nice bend in the knee, open the hip. Relax the head down underneath the right arm. Then level out the hips, pigeon pose. Left knee, bring it through, right leg back. Sit tall. Let's hold for another deep breath. This time, from your pigeon pose, come on to hands and knees. So bring the left knee back. And when you're on hands and knees, have a seat back on your heels, coming into Virasana hero pose. Option, of course, if you want to take a block, you can slide a block between the heels to raise the hips to reduce pressure on the knees. You can slide a blanket behind the knees or just separate your feet that also uh, if you want to work that deeper, not to protect the knees, but if you want to work that deeper, if the knees are good, feel free to separate your heels. An option if you want to work this a little deeper to open up the quads a little more, walk your hands back behind you, chest up, scoop the tailbone, and just lift the hips a bit off of your heels. Keep the chest rising up, relax the shoulders back, and we'll hold for another deep breath. Then return the hips down, return to hands and knees. Let's take an extended cat pose. As you round down, head down. Option if you want to add a wrist stretch here, you can turn the fingertips in toward your knees. Just relax the head down, hollow out the belly, tuck the tailbone. We'll hold for another deep breath. Then neutralize the spine, return the fingertips to point forward, spread the fingers wide, down dog, hips up and back. Let's take it forward to plank pose, lining up the shoulders, and you can drop the knees to modify or chaturanga, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, return to your downward facing. And we'll hold it here for another deep breath. And putting a little bend in the knees, look forward, walk or hop your feet to the front. Fold over the legs when you get there, relax the head down, feet slightly separating, start rolling up slowly to stand. As you press down, uncurl. When the head lifts up, soften the shoulders back. Tadasana Mountain Pose. Inhale, sweep the arms around. Exhale, dive over the legs. Chest up, inhale, lengthen. Now step the left leg back, low lunge, lower the back knee to the mat. Come into a half split pose, Ardha Hanuman will straighten the right leg. Hold for a breath. Now take your left hand to the outside of the right leg and hold for a breath. Half split with a twist. Returning your left hand over to the left side and bend up at the front knee, low lunge. Sweep the arms high, low crescent. Reach up, soften the shoulders, angle the eyes up and hold for one more breath. 
hands down to the mat, downward facing dog, press back. Inhaling, come forward to plank, chaturanga on the exhale. Inhale, upward facing, downward facing, up and back. Let's hold it here for another deep breath or so. Putting a little bend in the knees, look forward, step or jump the feet lightly to the front. Chest up, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, head down as you round. Inhale, sweep the arms around, rise up. Exhale as you dive right back over the legs, head down, chest up, inhale, head up. Right leg back as you exhale, low lunge and lower the back knee. Ardha Hanuman half split as you straighten the left leg, we'll hold for a breath. Now take your right hand outside the left leg, half split with a twist. Returning your right hand over to the right side, low lunge. Anjaneyasana, sweep the arms straight overhead, reach up, soften the shoulders, angle the eyes upward, one breath. Hands down to the mat, downward facing, step back. With your next inhale, bring it forward to plank, chaturanga or modify. Inhale, upward facing, downward facing, press back and we'll give it another deep breath or two here. And from your downward facing dog, look forward through the hands, walk or float your feet to the front. Chest up, inhale, head up. Exhale, head down as you round. Feet together, all the way, toes, heels touch. Sit deep in chair pose, bend the knees, arms high. Palms together at the heart. We'll take a seated twist. Take your left elbow outside the right knee. Keep the chest lifted. Try reaching your thumbs at the heart center just to strengthen the twist a little bit if that feels good. Look to the right, maybe look over your shoulder one breath. Return to center fold over the legs, head down and step the left leg back in low lunge. Soften the back knee, look forward. We'll come into high lunge as you press through Sweep the arms high, reach up. You can soften the back knee or straighten it out. Look straight ahead and hold for a deep breath in. Then as you exhale, lightly dip the back knee toward the mat. Inhale up, exhaling dip. We'll do that one more time, up, exhaling dip. Good, lift it up, look past the nose, step the left knee up. So inhale, step up with the back leg, hands to the knee, step back to high lunge, arms overhead. Good, we'll do that again. Step up, hands to the knee, step back, high lunge, arms overhead. We're, we're gonna add a curtsy squat the next time. Look straight ahead, step up, hands to the knee. Keep the left knee lifting, palms to prayer. Step the left foot behind the right and squat. We'll lift the left knee up again, hands to your left knee. Bring it back to high lunge, arms overhead. Yeah, all right, warrior two, reach out. Look over the right hand and hold for a breath. We'll reverse the warrior, sweep the right arm over. Lower both hands to the inside of the right foot. Let's take a little skandhasana, go to the left as you stretch the right leg, bend deep through the left knee. We'll take skandhasana to the opposite side, to the right as you come up, bend the right knee, stretch the left leg. Listen carefully, we'll take low lunge at the back of the mat. So when you come up, pivot, walk your hands around to opposite sides of your left foot. You're facing the back of the mat. Low lunge, twist, open the left arm up to the sky, reach up. 
Now lower your left hand to the inside of the left foot and travel to the right, come into your wide-legged fold, hang over the legs, the feet are parallel, head down, hands down, or holding onto your feet, one breath. Then lift the head up, chest up, low lunge to the front as you pivot, walk your hands around, downward facing dog, step back. You can hold it in your down dog or flow through. And hold for another full breath. Looking forward through the hands, walk or hop the feet lightly. Chest up, head up on the inhale. Exhale, round down as you fold, step your feet together. Utkatasana chair, sit deep, arms up. Keep the hips down, knees back a little bit. Now bring palms to prayer at the heart. Taking your chair twist, right elbow outside the left leg. Twisting left, look left, maybe peek over your shoulder, chest up, thumbs at heart center, one more breath. Let's untwist to center, then lower into a fold, head down, send the right leg back, low lunge. Soften the back knee, look forward for balance, prepping for high lunge as you press down, sweep the arms overhead, reach up. You can soften the back knee or straighten it out, see how things feel, taking an inhale. Then as you exhale, lightly dip the back knee toward the mat. Inhaling up. Exhaling, dip, one more up, exhaling, dip. Lift back up, look past the nose. We're gonna step up with the right leg, so look at one point for your balance. Inhale, lift the right knee up, hands to the knee. High lunge, float it back. We'll do that again for some practice. Look straight ahead, inhale, step up. High lunge, step back. We'll add the curtsy squat this time. Look straight ahead, step up, hands to the knee. Now bring the palms to prayer at the heart. Step your right foot behind the left and squat. Lift up, bring the hands to the right knee. High lunge, float back. Warrior two, reach out and look over the left hand. Hold for a breath. We'll reverse the warrior, sweeping the left arm over. Skandasana, lower the hands toward the inside of the left foot. Travel to the right, back of the mat, stretch the left leg, one breath. We'll do Skandasana, side lunge to the opposite side, front of the mat, going left as you bend the left knee, stretch the right leg, one breath. We'll take low lunge at the back, so when you lift, Pivot toward the back of the mat, hands at opposite sides of your right foot. Low lunge twist, raise the right arm high. Opening up toward the right, maybe look up. Lower your right hand toward the inside of the right foot. Prasarita Padatanasana, travel to the left. Wide-legged fold as we make our way toward the front of the mat. Just hang over the legs here. Give yourself a breather. Head down, hips up, breathing in. Hold, breathing out, head up, chest up. Let's travel to the front for low lunge. Pivot, walk your hands around. Downward facing dog, step back. You can hold it in your down dog or flow through. Plank Chaturanga. Let's give it another full breath. And from your downward facing, listen carefully, we'll walk the hands to the feet. So fold over your legs at the back of the mat. So walk your hands back, 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 back. When you get there, just hang over the legs. We'll do a little Padangustasana, hand to toe pose, a little breather here. Using the first two fingers of each hand, grab inside the big toes. Yogi toe lock, head up on the inhale, lengthen. 
Exhale, head down, elbows out as you fold, gently pulling toward the mat for a little stretch here. Option to modify in ragdoll pose. You can hang over the legs with your hands holding opposite elbows and we'll hold for another full breath. And taking an inhale, lift up the head. Exhaling, let go of your toes. Bring hands to the waist with a flat back. Press up slow to stand. Coming all the way up. Keep the hands on the waist to begin with. We'll work into dancer pose, Natta Rajasana. Shift your weight first to the left leg. Look straight ahead at one point. Always have your focal point, your drishti set up first. That's really going to help you balance here. Raise the right leg, bending up at the knee. Now take your right hand as your right leg kicks back. Grab the inside of your right foot close to the ankle. Bring the knees together to level the hips. Keep looking straight ahead because your energy flows where your gaze goes. So that's going to help keep you lifted. Raise the left arm all the way up. Now kick back, kick up. Get the back bend. You can hold it here or if you want to work it a little deeper, keep reaching the left arm all the way forward. But Keep deepening the back bend as best you can. Kick up, kick back, reach, stay lifted, breathe one more time. Then slowly release, coming up, lower the right leg, lower the left arm. Real yoga by real people. <laughs> Stillness. Right, staying in the meditation. We'll go the other way. You can bring hands to the waist. Fewer moving parts makes this easier as well to set up and maintain. Shift your weight to the right leg. Raise the left leg, left knee. Take your left hand. As your left leg kicks back, grab the inside of your left foot. Bring the knees together. Keep looking straight ahead at one point. Raise the right arm all the way up and kick back. When you have the back bend, you're in the pose. If you want to work it deeper, keep pulling the right arm forward, kicking up and back behind you. Keep reaching, keep kicking, breathe, focus one more time. Then slowly again, release out, come up. Lower the left leg, release the right arm. Tadasana, stillness. And keeping your feet hip width distance apart. Take a peek down, your feet should look like the number 11 and they should be just six to eight inches apart approximately. Take an inhale, sweep the arms around, Urdhva Hastasana as you reach overhead. Exhale, dive over the legs. Let's do a little Pada Hastasana hand to foot pose. So lift the head up, chest up on the inhale, lift the fronts of the feet. Now slide the hands under the fronts of the feet. As you exhale, lower the toes, lower the head down. So don't worry about how far the hands go. Just, you know, as far as it feels good toward the wrist crease. Or you can come into your Ragdoll pose, hanging over the legs, hands to elbows. Just make sure if you're doing ragdoll, switch the hands, opposite hand, if you did that the first time. Just so we can keep things as balanced as possible. And we'll hold it here for another full breath. And as you release, let's lift the head up, chest up. Release out the hands. Downward facing dog, walk your hands out. Lower onto your knees. Virasana, have a seat on the heels. You can stay here, you can put a block between the heels. You can separate your feet, keep the knees drawing in together, right? Lots of different ways to do this depending on how things are feeling. If you are okay where you are, you can either stay 
or walk the hands back and work this into a little more of a back bend. You can stay here, chest up, shoulders back, right? Look toward, the, look past the nose. Or if you have space to do so, you can lower one elbow at a time, right? And then just relax the head back. And if the head touches down, maybe try to release your shoulders. Now, if you have the space to do so, and you know, maybe more space even than me, that's, that's quite all right. Lower your upper back onto the mat. And if your upper back is on the mat, think about reaching the arms overhead and taking your hands to opposite elbows. Let's hold it here for another deep breath or so. And as you carefully come out, you'll just go one elbow at a time, one hand at a time, slowly returning upright. <laughs> come up, come off your heels. You can shake out the feet just to get some blood flowing through the feet. Bring the legs around front. Stretch both legs straight out. Maybe shimmy the hips forward. Sit tall. Inhale, reach the arms up, Paschimottanasana. Exhale, come forward and grab your feet. You can grab toes, heels, use a strap or belt if you need to get to your feet or chest. Get as close as you can, also fine. Let's hold it here for another deep breath or so. If the knees need to soften, you can let them soften, totally fine. Then as you release, slide the hands in, head up. Let's bend the knees lower down onto the back. So keep your knees bending as you lower all the way down. Okay. We'll do a little reverse figure four. Take your right ankle above the left knee and hug the left leg in, either behind the knee or you can interlace fingers just on top of the leg. Try to soften the shoulders, keep your head just relaxing back on the mat. We'll hold for another deep breath. As you let go, release your left foot onto the mat. Now interlace fingers and hold the right knee. Bring your right knee in toward the right shoulder. Stretch your left leg out on the mat. Scoop the tailbone a little bit here to find some length. Relax the shoulders back. Let's take a twist. Go to the left. Bring the right leg across the body. Drop the right arm out. Twist left. Look to the right and hold for another deep breath. returning through center, let go of the right leg. Let's actually, oops, reverse figure four, knees bending, take your left ankle above the right knee and hug the right leg in, either grab behind the leg or interlace fingers on top of your right leg, but not on the knee, below the knee. Flex the feet, soften the shoulders, hug in and breathe one more time. That feels good. Let's take our reclining twist. Bring your right foot back to the mat. Now interlace fingers, grab the left knee. Hug the left knee in toward the left shoulder and stretch the right leg out on the mat. Lengthen the tailbone, scoop the tailbone. Now take your twist, go to the right. Drop your left arm out behind you. Look left if you can and hold for another deep breath. Bringing it back through center, hug the knees in toward the chest. Take a deep breath in. Then with your exhale, bring the forehead to the knees for five, four, three, two, one. Release into Shavasana extending out the legs on the mat. Separate the feet, 
Drop the arms out, turn the palms up. Close your eyes. Letting go of the ujjayi breath, just settle back. Feel the body just melt back on the mat. Letting go, embracing these few moments of stillness, important moments for the body to restore and recover. Better integrating the benefits of your efforts so you feel better leaving than when you first arrived today. I invite you to stay longer if you have time to do so. Otherwise, I will leave you here. Thank you again for sharing your practice with me. It's always a pleasure to work with you on the mat. Until we meet again, namaste.